Hi, I'm Dr. Lindsay Nelson. I am bringing you part three of our immunity series. We've been talking a lot about immunity in different parts of different forms or aspects of immunity. You know, the problem with um, our immune system lies in twofold. We have the risk factors um, prior that weaken our immune system. And then on the other hand, we have how our immune system responds to the virus. We know ultimately with the coronavirus that the problem, um, the severity happens when there is this cytokine storm, when the immune system signals kind of go crazy. Uh, this week we're gonna talk about supplements in particular that help um, with antiviral activity. Hopefully if we have any observational studies showing anti-coronal activity, which we do, it's minimal. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of boring if I just listed all those supplements. Um, and I have a lot of people ask me, what do you do when you get sick? So I'm going to share with you what I do when I get sick. I'm going to share with you some of my favorites. Um, on my website, drlindsayasnelson.com, I have a link for my online dispensary. You can buy from there or from another source, but under there are categories, viral and immune, that you can check out where some of my favorites are. Um, when I was a kid, I got sick an awful lot, especially in my 20s. Um, it would, I would get a little throat tickle and it would go straight into my chest and get this kind of annoying cough. Um, but now if I start to get any symptoms, I do all of my naturopathic principles to help fight it. And I'm usually never, you know, run down more than a couple of days. Um, I think part of the problem when I was in my teens and my 20s, I was a vegetarian. Um, I do this because I was a vegetarian, but I wasn't eating a lot of vegetables. I was really eating a lot of bread and cheese with a little bit of vegetables and fruit. You know, now I start my morning, morning off with a, uh, a smoothie uh, that's just full of all those um, uh, vitamins and minerals that we get from our fruits and vegetables. It's almost all vegetables. I add turmeric, which is our anti-inflammatory and supports our immune system. I add black pepper. I add ginger, which is anti-inflammatory. I think that helps. I think that that gives me a little bit of a leg up. Um, it's interesting that there is a lot of data that just a multi alone improves our immune system. Um, the duration of a cold helps um, the mortality rate of HIV. I mean, this is just a multi and what's in a multi? All those fruits and um, all those vitamins and minerals you get from your fruits and vegetables. So let's talk about what we can actually do to support our immune system um, and how it responds because immune resilience plays a critical role in how severe this infection is. A strong immunity might be the difference between a mild infection and a severe um, infection. There's a lot that happens um, when we get sick. A lot of chemical reactions and different parts of our immune system get activated and whatnot. Um, and so I, I'm not gonna go into great detail with that, um, but I do wanna talk about mucosal immunity. The virus enters um, our body through our mucosa, through our nose, through our mouth. And so that is our first line of defense. And one way we can support that first line of defense is through colostrum. Uh, colostrum is the milk we get from mammary glands, um, breast milk, cow's milk, that type of stuff. Um, one thing that is in, in colostrum is lactoferrin which has actually been shown to decrease COVID activity because of its innate defense at the mucosa. Other things that we can support our mucosal immunity would be saltwater rinses, you know, the nasal sprays, whether it's a neti pot or the Neil Med, doesn't matter, um, and do that morning and night. I love steam inhalations, whether that's in my shower and I you know, block the <clears throat> block underneath the door so that the steam doesn't escape. And I use uh, eucalyptus as a bronchodilator. I use lavender for its antiviral properties. You can also go to a sauna. Um, those are all great ways to support your mucosal immunity. So that first line of defense. The other thing we want to do is our system systemic immunity. What do we do to bu build immune resilience? Um, Lutalin is something that has shown 50% anti-SARS activity. Um, it helps block COVID into the immune system. It's a type of flavonoid. We see this in a lot of our um, natural um, anti-allergy medications, which I think is interesting that allergies put us at a greater, greater risk for getting um, coronavirus um, and having more of a severe reaction. Uh, they also show nettles to be, have anti-COVID activity. Um, so 
you can find that in a lot of your natural anti-allergen medications, quercetin, nettles, they usually have vitamin C in it. These are all very strong anti-flavonoids. I'm gonna show you some from my catalog in a second. Um, with that cytokine storm, it's pro-inflammatory. So we wanna do things that support the anti-inflammatory cytokines, and those are gonna be your omegas. So the stuff that you get from your fish oils. We want to support the branch of our immune system that is involved with T cells and natural killer cells. Um, we want to improve the integrity of those um, cells and increase their activity. Um, so butric acid, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin C are all really great ways of doing that. Um, a lot of our adaptogens, things that support our immune system, help with stress, um, come from Chinese medicine. They have strong antiviral properties. Um, licorice has been shown as, to be one of those adaptogens to have this particular um, a strong affinity for the coronavirus. Um, uh, uh, Bupleurum is another one. Um, so I'm going to show you some of my favorite antivirals. I love my mushroom blends. We've talked about it, I think, past two weeks now. I really do love mushroom blends. Um, just strong immune support, antiviral activities. But what I first do when I get sick is I rest, I hydrate, I lay off food. We don't wanna eat during a fever, during a cold. We don't really wanna feed it. Um, we wanna kind of give our body a time to rest um, and time to focus on our immune system. Um, so if I do eat, it's gonna be stuff more like miso, broths and that whatnot. Um, I give myself uh, IV every single time. You know, an IV not only hydrates me, which generally we get dehydrated, um, and with especially viral stuff um, that goes into our lungs, we have the, we can get dehydrated. We actually need more oxygen at that time. Um, and so I will do an IV loaded with vitamin C, loaded with a glutathione. Glutathione is, uh, helps with oxidative damage. Um, it's a great antioxidant and uh, anti-inflammatory, helps build, helps support our immune system, and really does help with viral lung infections. And so I'll do a big dose of that. If I have a fever, I'm not going to suppress it. Uh, you know, I'm not talking about 106, you know, 100, 101. That is my body's natural attempt to fight off the virus. And so I want to support it. Um, my children uh, and myself love the wet sock treatment, which is a form of hydrotherapy. Um, hydrotherapy is alternating hot and cold, which creates kind of like a pumping action to, um, you know, help uh, uh, Get our blood pumping, lymphatic drainage, that type of stuff. It really helps our um, support our immune system. It can make us more comfortable if we are having a fever. You basically take a thin kind of athletic sock, dip it in ice cold water, wring it out, put it on, put a thick wool sock on afterwards and go to bed. And you're gonna wake up in the morning and you're gonna find that completely dry um, and uh, probably had a really wonderful night's sleep. Another one is a, the scarf treatment where you put a thin washcloth over your neck. Um, again, wring it out, cold washcloth, and then wrap yourself with a wool um, scarf. That's really great for sore throats. You can do alternating hot and cold on your chest with a towel. Um, these are all really wonderful things to help my immune system. And then I'm gonna start loading up on all my adaptogens, mushrooms, um, omegas, all of that type of stuff. So I am going to share my screen with you um, and what I do. Um, some of my favorites right here. Um, I'm hoping you can see that. Wait, hold on. Share screen. Share this one. So you will see um, a lot of people were talking about in my lecture today, um, asking me questions about vitamin C and they were saying how vitamin C um, uh, can be hard on their stomach. I agree and we want high doses. So a liposomal vitamin C is a really great way. Um, you know, this is one teaspoon is a thousand milligrams. Liposomal, um, you know, you're, you're bypassing you're gonna bypass the stomach. And so that's a nice way, buffered vitamin C and like a powder form is nice as well. Um, the other thing that I like is um, the, oh, let's see, I'm having a hard time seeing this stuff. 
what's happening. There we go. Um, the other thing that is really wonderful is uh, an antiviral support. This one you can see has the zinc, the vitamin A, the vitamin C, all these things we've been talking about. Monolaurin we talked about last week. Elderberry has shown some um, uh, uh, suggestive antiviral activity, especially for Corona. Um, your astragalus, ginger, the anti-inflammatory, we talked about these. Liquid vitamin D is important for our immune system. And we want high doses like 5,000 IUs, maybe even up to 10,000. Uh, vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin, so getting it in a fat and a, in a liquid, um, like a tr this is in a medium chain triglyceride oil. I like people that get it in an oil form. You can also do a sublingual. Um, here is my mushroom blend. They're always back ordered. Uh, I do think I have I've added other ones on my website that aren't bad. Um, back ordered, but you'll see the reishi mushrooms, the cordyceps, um, turkey tail, maitake, all of those. These are great for supporting our immune system. Zinc, we know, is really good for that mucosal barrier. Um, and so this is getting a reacted zinc, a high dose is nice. Um, uh, here's the colostrum that I talked about with the lactoferrin, really good for the mucosal immunity um, and supporting the branch of our immune system that um, produce antibodies, IgG antibodies. And this is one of my favorite um, uh, uh, anti-allergy medications. It has the zinc, which is great, but you can see it has the quercetin, the nettles, and the licorice. So that kind of antiviral, anti-inflammatory property too. Um, I did not put the omegas on, um, but the omegas um, are great for, um, um, let's stop sharing. Uh, the omegas are great as an anti-inflammatory. I always have some at home. Um, my omegas, take them all the time. Um, I also have my acute immune is the one I use a lot. Um, and then I think I did not mention the adaptogens. So I'd probably start the adaptogens too, which is gonna have all of those licorice and other um, uh, immune supporting anti-stress herbs in it. Uh, I know we're short on time and so going over dosing and that type of stuff is going to be difficult. I do would say that to sum up, you know, give your stomach a rest, eat foods like miso and smoothies and that type of stuff, do some hydrotherapy, maybe get an IV, if you are confused about medications, um, natural supplements that help, please you know, contact me or your naturopath or whatnot so you can not just start putting tons of different supplements in you um, and not knowing the risk factors and side effects and you know, um, whatnot. Um, but also um, dosing, you know, it can get, get, get confusing. Um, generally though, for the first 24 hours, you wanna go kind of hard, go big. So for me, like with the allergy blend that has the quercetin, the colostrum, and the antiviral or the mushroom support, I'm probably gonna do two capsules like every two hours. Um, and then the next day, maybe you know four times a day, and then the next day, three times a day. Um, but on my website, drlindsayesnelson.com, you will see my dispensary. And under the category viral and immune, I have a lot of these products there, and I say what the dosage is. If you have any questions, please email me, drlindsayesnelson at gmail.com. Go on my website. You can contact me there. Love to have any thoughts on what you would like me to talk about next week. And uh, Ronnie and I used to do healthy happy hours um, once a month when the Mac was open. Um, and we are restarting that starting today at 4. So you can go on the MacBook Facebook page and access that. Um, it does, you do not have to be a Mac member per se. Um, if you want to join and you are not a Mac member, uh, please contact me directly and I can give you the Zoom link. But basically, he'll be making some wonderful, healthy cocktails. And I will talk about some of the um, stuff that is in that cocktail and why it supports our immune system. Hope to see some of you today at four. Otherwise, if you'd like to join next week's live, 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm not sure what I'll be talking about, but it'll be something interesting. Um, and uh, I think that's it. Everyone else be healthy um, and take care of yourselves. Thank you.